In this video, you'll learn more about using webhooks with Samsara. Webhooks are an alternative to getting data via REST APIs. Webhooks allow you to ask Samsara to send data to you whenever the data becomes available. Leverage webhooks when you are looking to react to certain real-time events that happen in your Samsara system. For example, you notice that a route stop was arrived early and you want to update the dispatcher in the TMS view. Or, a crash event was detected and you have an integration set up to automatically alert the authorities. Webhooks don't cover dense data like telematics data due to the sheer volume of webhooks that would get triggered and would need to be handled. Use data streaming connectors like Kafka for being pushed this higher density data instead. However, webhooks support all major event types, such as HOS violation, geofence entry and exit, speeding, address creation, driver updated, and more. You can set up webhooks in two ways, through our alerting system and platform event subscriptions. Whenever an alert is triggered or an event you've subscribed to is detected in our system, a webhook will be fired near real time. Configure webhooks within minutes in your dashboard. For alerts, set up a webhook push via adding a webhook action in your alert creation. For platform events, navigate to webhooks and select which events you want to subscribe to in the pop-up. When using webhooks, your technical team must have a webhook listener set up to receive these messages. For advice on how to test webhooks, refer to the webhooks developer guide. Be sure to return a 200 response if you receive a successful webhook from Samsara. Otherwise, we'll continue retrying sending the webhooks, which may overwhelm your system. You can confirm that the webhooks are securely coming from Samsara by comparing the signature that gets passed along in the header of the webhook HTTP request with the expected signature. To get started with webhooks, open the developer portal. Browse through the webhook reference documentation to review all the details of the webhooks that get triggered and learn what JSON to expect for each. And similar to API traffic, you can analyze any issues with your webhooks via the developer metrics page.